بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور ٹوڈے ویڈ اندر ایزی ٹاپک ویڈ سین دی ایریا ان دی پریویس ویڈیوز ٹوڈے وی سی دی ایوریج آف ای سگنل اوکی ایوریج اور لیٹس سی ان دس کیس وی سی دی ایوریج آف کانٹینیوس ٹائم سگنلز ناو دس ایز اگین این ایزی ٹاپک You have already studied it in your basic calculus courses or your FSC, but this is just for a revision perspective. The average of a signal, how is this given? The average of a signal is given by the total area of the signal divided by the total time for which it occurs. Divided by the total time. This is a general formula to represent the average total area upon total time but then you know we have two basic a basic class of signal that is we have periodic signals and aperiodic signals so the formula of average for both of them is going to be different now how do you calculate the area of a signal the area of a signal is calculated if you integrate it over the entire time axis isn't it so you know this fine let's say let's say I take an example over here I have a periodic signal this is your time axis this is a periodic signal let's say P of T and it is in this sort of a waveform triangular this repeats in this way similarly to the left of the origin and it repeats over here if I want to calculate the area of this particular uh, triangle so and let's say the the amplitude is a naught fine so so what is the time for which this is occurring this is your fundamental time period t naught so this is occurring for this much of time so which means that I have to calculate it uh, the area is calculated by integrating from 0 to t naught the value P of T dt isn't it so and let's say so the area is a fine so the average what would be the average for this the average for this would be average is equal to the total area which is a upon the total time for which it's occurring t naught this is the average only for what for this single element similarly if I want to find out the area of this particular entity so in this case the area would be what it's occurring for, from let's say 0 to here so 2t naught for, for the total for the total okay so the total length this green length is 2t naught okay not this particular length this is t naught the green overall length is 2t naught so so this is occurring from 0 to t naught now P of T dt which includes these two triangles fine so now it includes two of these triangles so which means the area would be two times of a it would be two times of a the original area that is with the red color so now in this case the average of the signal is what the total area is two times of a and the total time is two times of t naught which again is a upon t naught so for any number of cycles you take you get the same average so which means that for the periodic signal you need to integrate it only for a single cycle that is enough for it fine so just integrate over one time period so let me write it over here that just integrate over one time period that's it now I write the formulas to calculate the average okay so the average of any signal is I told you for, for it's different for both periodic and aperiodic so it's 1 over t naught the integration over the period t naught x of t with respect to t this is if the signal is periodic Similarly, we have a limit, yes, 
limit t approaching infinity 1 over t and uh, then what you have negative t by 2 to a positive t by 2 x of t dt isn't it so yes it is this is for non periodic signals now this t uh, uh, is not the period okay as in the fundamental case this t is not the period of, of the function this just shows a general value of time t now why did i take a general value of t okay so this is if uh, you can also say from negative infinity to positive infinity so why did i take it like this why did i not take it from zero to a t value i did not take it like this because if i put the limits in this case if i put the limits so i would have zero to infinity fine but the, but then what about what about this negative infinity to zero so i have missed this thing so therefore i took the limits in this form that if i put t approaching to infinity i will get the limits of negative infinity to positive infinity is that okay fine now uh, let's say we move to an example so we are given a clock pulse we are asked to find the average of of this particular wave let's say x of t is its name with respect to t and it's varying in this particular manner is that okay so this is your x of t now have a look this is a periodic signal this is a periodic signal this is the period of it isn't it this is the period t naught so what do you have what do you have the formula so the formula is uh, 1 over t naught the average value is equal to 1 over t naught times the integration over t naught of x of t with respect to t so have a look this is t naught so i can divide it into two parts right this red part would show t naught by 2 so it only exists in this t naught by 2 uh, in the rest of the half cycle this is 0 fine so what can i do is that 1 over t naught is outside and then i can break this into two parts so have a look the first half is let's say this is a it is a this is a not any particular value okay any constant value so this is a rectangle so it would be length multiplied by its width so it's a not multiplied by t by 2 right this is for the first part and the second part is 0 so a not multiplied t by 2 would be what t not by 2 right so this t not t not would cancel out and the average value of this function would come out to be a not upon 2 that's the answer isn't it it is okay let's say we have another waveform this is a unit impulse signal an impulse signal let's say we have this is t this is let's say x of t this is a naught and it's zero otherwise so have a look this was a periodic signal right this was a periodic signal this one is a non-periodic one so for this what do you need to do we need to first set negative t by 2 and positive t by 2 fine this is the first step of it to set negative t by 2 and positive t by 2 and where do you have to set it you have to set it by your own choice but you should keep in mind that it includes amplitude transitions and you know what amplitude transition means that the amplitude is changing so it should include the points where the amplitude is changing 
Now the, over here have a look, the amplitude is changing at point zero. So I would say, let's say this point be my negative t by 2 and let's say to the right side somewhere be my positive t by 2. So this is my positive t by 2. Is that okay? It is. So now we go to the formula. Yes. Yes, so now we go to the formula uh, uh, in which we have the average value is given by limit t approaching infinity and then what do you have? 1 upon t and what? So you divide it into two parts. This, uh, well, this is negative t by 2 to a positive t by 2 x of t with respect to t. Now I would uh, divide it into two parts. So this would equal limit t tends to infinity, 1 over t would be outside, you have from negative t by 2 to 0, uh, x of t is 0, 0 dt, and then plus you have 0 to t by 2, which is a naught dt. So this would be 0, so you have what? You have a limit t tends to infinity, 1 over t, a naught comes out to be constant, you have a small t, the limits are t by 2 and 0. You put the limit. So uh, you don't put the limit, you put these higher and upper limits. So you have limit t tends to infinity 1 over t a naught into t by 2. So t t cancels out, you put the limit, it does not have any effect. The average value comes out to be a naught upon 2. This is something important you need to remember. For a step signal, the average value is a naught by 2. So I believe that's all about it. I have some more, uh, two more examples over here also, but let's say we do it in the next video. That's all about this one. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.